think that also we could go live on your thing if you want. Yes, do you have a Michelle we want to use? He needs to know how to understand her and win her cooperation so that they're not antagonists. That how do you do this? Well, the first thing you do <clears throat> is you allow her full freedom of expression and, and give her your full attention because she has a point of view and she's a part of the family and a man will recognize that what decision he makes affects her probably just as much as it does him. And so she is in a very important position in a position where she could feel abused or, or trampled on if her rights are not respected. So he has to know that. So he would listen with, with attention and, and thought, and he would really weigh it out. And then if he must make a decision that's contrary to what she wanted, if he will say to her, I wish I could do it your way, but I just can't because my judgment tells me that we should do it another way. But I would like to if we could because I want to cooperate and I want us to have what, what we both like. He would recognize then that she doesn't want her way so much as she does want to be heard. Now this seems like a little thing, but it's something that men just generally, they just, will just walk over roughshod, you know. I mean, even, even men try, that are otherwise fairly considered. They, they just get careless. They, they don't really think of it in those terms. You know, they, they don't think of the position she's in. Another thing they, they're quite unsympathetic with, in a way, is the importance of the work she does uh, when she's home with the children and, and the job of a housewife uh, or a homemaker, you know, and, and this function that she's got, this, this uh, position has been played down terribly. And this is a very important position. In fact, to me, it's the most significant position there is. How do you square these views with uh, women who lean toward uh, the liberation movement? Well, uh, I don't know that, uh, I, I teach principles that I feel are true principles, and I let them uh, make any adaptation of that, to that, of that to themselves they will. But I think a lot of times women are unhappy at home because they're unsuccessful at home, and because the position has been demeaned too long, you know, and they don't feel that there's any challenge to it. There is a great challenge to it, to be successful. It's a tremendous challenge, but uh, they don't, some of them don't feel that it is. 